Our perception of the world is a direct reflection of the habits we possess. By that, I mean our lives are built of hundreds of habits we do every day. And those habits can hurt us or help us. Sure, we make mistakes, we're human. And some of those mistakes will be so small, we might not even realize we made them, while others may lead to more noticeable consequences. Either way, we have the power to change bad habits and add new ones that will steer our lives in a more favorable direction. But guess what? Many of them are insanely easy to get started with. Here are nine that I recommend. Number one, wake up with gratitude. Sometimes in our pursuit of success, wealth, or less even, we forget how ridiculously precious life is. We get so caught up in the chase that we overlook what's right in front of us. And often these are the best things in life. Now, to save ourselves from falling into this common trap, we have to learn how to practice gratitude on a daily basis. And there's no better way to ensure that that happens than to wake up with gratitude. See, how you start your day can drastically impact your mood. And your mood, believe it or not, is the very thing that's steering the ship we call life. Number two, give yourself a compliment every day. Research shows that giving yourself compliments is as beneficial as receiving them from your loved ones. And to me, that's powerful because it means you control how you feel about yourself. And knowing that you have this type of control is a game changer because complimenting yourself offers so many advantages. You start believing in yourself. You start noticing a positive shift in your mindset and productivity. You smile more. You become less insecure. You start knowing your worth and you no longer feel obligated to accept things or people that tear you down. Now, it's important to note that these compliments don't have to be creative or poetic works of art. The goal is to give yourself love and appreciation without judgment. When that begins to happen consistently, then I'd say you've successfully developed a habit that is undoubtedly improving your life. Number three, invest regularly in things that make you feel confident and great about yourself. One example of this is to invest in relationships that make you want to be better, that challenge you to change your habits and reaffirm your values. Other things to consider are your health. Are you working out, meditating, journaling? What about your diet? Are you eating things that support strength and longevity? Are you drinking enough water? See, developing habits is one thing, but developing the right habits can be the difference between mediocre and great, insecure and confident, and the latter is exactly what I wanna help you achieve. To do that, I suggest Habitify, which is a habit tracking app that I've been using for the last month or so, and it has served as much needed motivation for me as I've started to lose sight of a few habits that I value. Now, Habitify is on a mission to make habit tracking more convenient by removing the burden of tracking as much as possible and helping you stay productive. A few features that I really enjoy, other than how simple it is to use, is one, the habit data and visualization. As a very visual person myself, I find it really fascinating and clear to track my progress and performance this way over time. The second feature I'm a big fan of is Break Bad Habit Mode. This gives you the power to track habits you're trying to break or limit. I'm also really excited about a new feature coming soon called Challenge System, where you can join Habitify's challenges or create your own and invite your friends to participate together with building habits. So if you're interested in checking out Habitify, it's free to download for iOS, Android, and desktop. I'll leave a link down below for your convenience and thanks to Habitify for sponsoring this video. Number four, go first. Be the first to smile and say hi to others. Be the first in your family to try something new. Maybe that's starting a business. Be the first to change your family's tree financially. Be the first to feel unsatisfied with your comfort zone. See, if you wanna improve your life, you have to get over your fear of being the first to do things. Number five, laugh as much as possible. This reminds me of the oh so famous quote by the Joker himself. Why so serious? <laughs> Comment below if you have any idea who the Joker is. Now, laughter may not be on your self-care to-do list, but it's good for your mood, mental health, heart health, and more. So here are a few ways to add more laughter into your life. Number one, don't worry about being funny. I read a quote the other day that said, everything in life can be drama, horror, or comedy. How often are you looking at it as comedy? Although I'm sharing this with you to help you, I have to be honest and say that this is also helping me. Because what I read then went on to say that you shouldn't worry so much about being clever or funny, but instead get in the habit of seeing humor in everyday situations. But I get what you're thinking. This might seem fake at first, but over time, laughter will start to become a more intrinsic part of your day. Number two, try the three funny things exercise. All this means is to keep a humor journal, similar to how you would a gratitude journal. And rather than writing down three things you're grateful for, Spend some time reflecting about your day and write down three amusing things that happened. What made you laugh today? And number three is don't be afraid to lighten up. As I quoted the Joker earlier, why so serious? I feel this is a perfect way to drive this point home. Don't take yourself so serious. 
Don't take life seriously all of the time. It's okay to laugh at yourself. Sometimes it helps put things into perspective. Number six, write down your goals and make a plan. I'm a firm believer that anything not written down is not likely to happen. Anything that you don't put a timeline on is not likely to happen. See, we all have goals and things we like to achieve, but the reality is, is many of us are not going to achieve those goals because we don't take the time to devise a plan around how we're going to get there. Many things sound good in theory, but we often overlook the hard work, sacrifice, and discipline they require. So if you're looking to improve your life, you should definitely have goals, but remember to write them down and make a plan. Number seven, socialize. Humans are social creatures, extroverts and introverts alike. I'm somewhat both, so I definitely understand the struggle for us introverts. However, making sure you have a social life plays a critical role in improving your life. By that, I mean you're an average of the five people you spend the most time with. So it's not just socializing with anyone, but it's socializing with the people that encourage the good parts of your subconscious, that want to help you and see you grow in life rather than push you down and hold you back due to their own insecurities. So I challenge you to turn off Netflix and put Instagram to the side for a minute and instead use that time to socialize with people who not only add value to your life, but whose lives you also add value to. Number eight, establish a routine that works. Notice I didn't say the perfect routine. I didn't say to copy someone else's routine. I said a routine that works. By that, I mean one that works for you. And the only way to figure out what that routine looks like is to try many different things. Personally, I'm a fan of journaling, I work out, I do yoga, I frequently talk out loud to myself. (laughs) I also tap into my zone of genius as much as possible, which is the overlap between what I'm good at and what I'm passionate about. See, these are the things that make my routine work for me. So if you've yet to establish a routine that works for you, then try a bit of everything. There are tons of examples splattered across YouTube, so explore some of those and see what sticks. Number nine, learn something every day. I'm not sure why this is, but as we grow older in life, we start to lose touch with the curiosity we had as kids. If you currently have kids, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. They ask questions, and a lot of them, but for good reason, and it's because they want to learn. So my encouragement to you, as you're currently starting to think about the new year and the goals you may have, is to learn something new every day. Read a book, hire a coach, register for classes, invest in courses, or get lost in the educational value you can find here on YouTube. What you do doesn't matter. But to improve your life, make sure you're a student of life. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. And if you found value in it, comment below and let me know which part resonated the most with you. Keep growing, keep learning, and always stay true to you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.